but some question here we need to answer how much actually nitric acid or distil and distilled water to completely dissolve the silver i purchased this sterling silver necklace for only 150 pesos equivalent to 2.6 us dollar and i'm trying to sell this one to a goldsmith but he never purchased this type of purity we need a high purity 999 or double nine then he purchased me a 50.91 per gram so what we're going to do now is to refine this one to get a high purity so let's stick to our skill here Twenty three point twenty two grams, so not bad for one hundred fifty pesos, equivalent to two point six US dollar, right? But some question here we need to answer: How much actually nitric acid or distilled and distilled water to completely dissolve the silver? So there, here is our. Uh, competition here for one gram of sterling silver we know that 95 92.5% uh, silver and 7.5% copper for one gram of fine silver dissolved in 1.22 ml of 70% HNO3 or nitric acid and for copper one gram Dissolve in 4.3 ml 70% it's in O3. Can you imagine the copper has consuming more acids? For uh, 4 liter of nitric acid can only dissolve 2 pounds of copper. And since our material here has sterling silver, we have 23 Point twenty two grams of sterling silver and uh, twenty three point twenty two grams multiplied by zero point nine two five equals to twenty one point forty eight gram fine silver and our base base metal here is twenty three point twenty two grams multiplied by zero point zero seven five we have one point seventy four gram copper or other base metal. 21.48 grams of fine silver multiplied by 1.22 ml of 70% HNO3 in total of 26.20 ml 70% HNO3. And the copper here is 1.74 per multiplied by 4.3 ml of HNO3 equals we need 7.48 ml 70% HNO3. And here's a addition. 26.20 ml of 70% HNO3 to dissolve 21.48 grams of fine silver and 7.48 ml for copper and 33 total of 33.68 ml 70% HNO3 50-50% dilute distilled water 33.68 ml distilled water in total of 67.36 ml solutions to completely dissolve 23.22 grams of sterling silver for several reasons these figures never come out to be 100% exact due to the reaction temperature amount of amount of dilution and actual strength of the concentrated nitric acid but they are very close so let's do it okay here we go first we gonna measure 33.68 ml and maybe 33 or 
We measure 34 here. Okay, that's it. And we and we have 70% HNO3 here. We measure about 34 also. And that is exactly measure. 34, 34. So now we add our sterling silver here. Then we pour distilled water. And our 34 ml HNO3. So let's begin. Ah, that's just not. Cover our material here, our sterling silver. That's okay to not to heat the solution because. And uh, nitric acid produces heat in dissolving uh, silver. If we need heat, then we apply it. That is exactly lock like. And because of the base metal is copper, and it actually slowly precipitate the silver, but it will dissolve back again until the reaction or the nitric acid has been consumed and after 30 minutes our material here is almost completely dissolved as you can see we left only a few amounts of uh, material Almost complete without heating. Very fast reaction. Our HNO3 is very active. So we'll update you a few minutes from now. And after one hour, uh, our silver, sterling silver here has been dissolved and only the black powder remain in our solution. And maybe this is gold, platinum, or maybe palladium. So let's put our heat to expel the excess HNO3 here. And leave it a couple minutes to expel the active HNO3 here. And that is exactly what we are looking for, boiling to ex expel excess nitric acid here. So we are now allowing this solution to cool down and filter to capture black powder at the bottom. We are now cooling our solution here to uh, filter later to capture some black powder at the bottom you can see and our solution is cooled down now and let's begin filtering I had prepared filter paper here so let's begin filtering According to our research, some remaining residue from silver, maybe gold, platinum, or palladium. And once the filtration is done, then we transfer our solution here to a smaller beaker for silver precipitation. Okay, silver precipitation using our copper bar that I hated to remove oils and graces 
and let's see what happened the reaction has started and precipitate silver this reaction is a single displacement that uh, we call redox reaction which is the the copper dissolved in solution and the silver has precipitated out the good thing of this precipitation is no need to spend another chemical to uh, convert anything this is also a uh, great uh, recovery of the silver and unlike the other precipitation need to convert it's from silver chloride to silver oxide and you need uh, to buy some chemicals to uh, convert in silver chloride to silver oxide but this one is the uh, precipitation is better and after uh, washing then you can melt and you can get a double nine fine silver when you precipitate silver using copper use copper bar and don't use copper wire because copper wire is easily uh, dissolved and after the reaction has slowed down then the remaining copper in her solution is your big problem that's why we need a very thick copper bar to cement out the pure silver here after the strong reaction and uh, the, the nitric acid is excess has consumed with copper then the silver is settled down at the bottom and after two hours of leaving the copper in our solution and the excess nitric acid here is consumed by copper and we'll remove the copper and we'll decant the solution for washing okay decanting our solution here then add hot distilled water then always allow the silver to settle down until there's no color or colorless so you can't And that is exactly clear water that we are looking for. And as you can see, our washing here is almost one liter. Now let's decant this, this one and we dry. Okay, drying with our help of our blowtorch here because I don't have available charcoal. And once the silver is dry, we add to our melting dish here. And fire to our mop gas torch. Okay, pass forward to our video, drying our silver here, that awesome. Okay, let's take the our scale here. Turn on. And this is our letter paper. 
zero zero. Okay. Sir, sir. Hop. Twenty one point zero nine grams. Ah, closer to our competition here. Like that. And that also. Very nice silver. Uh, here, here is our competition here. Our silver, sterling silver is 23.22 grams. Then we multiplied to 0 0.9205 equal to 21.48. So, so we lost only a few amounts of our competition. Then I believe that the copper has do the job properly. <laughs> and no need to spend more chemical to convert any convert convert. So thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy.